Hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. I suppose I read The Raven once or twice a long time ago. Can't say I was ever a fan of Poe, but I also didn't really don't consider myself to have experienced him in any sort of way. Um, but I suppose being familiar with um, depressed poets, no matter their skill level, is not required in order to enjoy Black Raven's Grandfather Raven Stout. So, this is Black Raven Brewing's Grandfather Raven Stout, poured from a tap at Northwest Beer Works in Lacey, Washington. I'm pretty sure I've had the Grandfather Raven before in a bottle. It's been a couple of years. Um, I recall finding it pretty thick, pretty strong, pretty full of character, and pretty enjoyable. Um, as I poured it out here, it's almost got a kind of a hot chocolate uh, thing going on here with that kind of frothy, bubbly head, rocky head. Uh, it's you can see the like the bubbles staying on the glass as it as it pulls away. So it's a di nice medium, maybe heavy bodied. Oh yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> Full bodied beer. It's nice. Mmm. Okay, to smell molasses. Lots of molasses. Molasses and there's something salty, maybe wood smoke down on the back end. Um, like like from a, a campfire, wood smoke from a campfire, so you're smelling the, the pine. Maybe some brownies, not sure. There's there's a little bit of chocolate in there, but I believe it's mostly, it's mostly molasses, like, like grandma's Mac blackstrap molasses with this interesting spicy kind of wood smoke going on underneath. So let's uh let's drink it. That's a savoring beer. It is very much a savoring beer. There's almost a a tobacco note going on there too. So it doesn't come across nearly so heavy as it smells. The molasses is there. But it's kind of attenuated, not not like thin. It's just it doesn't hang around cloyingly, you know, filling up your mouth. Instead, you get you get the molasses sweetness kind of hit at the first. You kind of get this tobacco spiciness, and then it's this really nice lingering dry, um, like super dark chocolate and maybe espresso finish. That oh, it's still there. It, it's definitely still there. I'm I'm still feeling the. The, the really dark chocolate and the kind of maybe the coffee note, like an espresso note. That's really nice. The danger with these super stouts can be that they are cloying. They are candy-like. Um, particularly when they do something silly like age it in maple syrup barrels or something. <laughs> you want balance, right? This beer has that balance. Uh, Grandfather Raven by Black Raven Brewing has that balance. Yes, it's it's thick and it's got the sweetness, but even at the beginning now, tasting it again, that, that dark chocolate kind of backbone foundation starts at the beginning too. So with the sweetness, balancing the sweetness of the, the, the thick sweetness of the molasses, you always have this counteracting and balancing dark chocolate that just ties the whole beer together. That very, very nicely. Hmm. That is good stuff. Um, yeah, really good stuff. Because of its complexity, I think that this would probably pair nicely with a maybe a, a darker, medium or dark, dark, uh, medium or full-bodied cigar. I guess a darker cigar. Um, you could also, I mean, just start. <laughs> Think of what goes well with dark chocolate, and this will probably go well with that. I mean, think of a, this with like a 
a nice aged white cheddar would actually probably be amazing uh, with um, even a slice like homemade apple pie, not, not super sweet, but with the good Granny Smith apples. That would actually go very nicely. This, like I said, this is a savoring beer. This is a beer you can fill a snifter with and get lost in. Anyways, this is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, drinking Black Raven Brewing's Grandfather Raven. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.